So this is part two here on our little weird ass episode before we start project value. Thanks for sticking around. Let's start the video so we can get going. Okay, so what we need to do here now is pretty basic. We need to set up a basic defense for our main zones here. So let's start making some ammo, quite a lot of it. And let's start placing out some turrets in the places where we need defense. So right around here with the power, yeah, we will put a turret. We will take some ammo, bam, 17 ammo. I think we will put a little turret right here also. Just like so, we will take, uh, don't, we don't seem to have too much ammo yet. Um, right, because we're crafting other stuff. One turret here for defending the copper. Let's grab 10 ammo, 11 ammo, I guess. I want to defend our green circuit. So let's put another turret here. And we also want to defend our red pots. So let's put one right around um, here. No. I think here. Yeah, that'll make more sense. And give it some ammo. So now we have pretty much anything defended. Maybe we can put some extra turrets out here. I don't really mind. <laughs> They'll start having those ammo signals if they run out of ammo. And then we'll just have to run out and reload them basically. Oh, why do we not have one there? I didn't see that before. We could expand this further up actually. So just like that. Okay, as we can see now, we, we do not have a lot um, enough uh, insultals for this here. So let's craft two batches of those, three batches of those, and some normal insultals. Actually, if we want to speed up insulto crafting, we can go up here and just grab ourselves some green circuits to have in our inventory. Actually, quite a lot of them. 200, goddamn. Now we'll, that'll speed up the crafting of the, the normal insultos by quite a lot. But uh, I think right after this here we need to start automating the process of creating our basic um, building blocks for the game, so to say. And I think we're doing it. Looking very nice. Right, I also forgot one more thing. We have a radar down here. We never put the other radar up here, actually. Let's put him here. And now we can see a little bit more up here. And it, uh, it does look safe, so that is totally fine. Oh, damn, we have not saved yet, so let's do that before we lose any progress. And as we can see, we are creating ooh, almost 300. Oh, we're getting up there. If we have a look here, 350 plus iron plates per minute. And as we can see here, it is looking a little bit tighter. And take that bad boy. Plugging up to power and put our little, little chest here. Let's limit the chest. There we go. What I think we need to do here as a final project for this episode is start creating and automating the transportation belts, underground belts, splitters, insolos, and fast insolos. Goddamn, that's a lot of items. But basically, we do that over here where we have green circuits. Because we, over here, we have all the items necessary to create what we need to start building. But of course, we need a shit ton more transportation belts, so let's craft those. So usually you might only do one run of this here in the beginning. I wanna do three, cause I like it. I think it looks cool and it's pretty neat. There we go. And I think we're gonna do it on the left side here. So we need green circuits, we need copper, we need iron. Oh wait, do we only need iron? Jesus Christ, man, we only need iron and green circuits. That is pretty crazy. So we take one here. We um, think we do that pretty much. God damn. Oh wait, I don't have any more of those. Okay, I need to craft some more. As, oh, there we go. And of course, we need a bunch more assembling machines. And also to create the insultals, we need improved research. Improved automation, I mean. So we gotta research this here. And bam. But of course, we have plenty of uh, red science packs going in here. 
So that's gonna go pretty quickly. I don't think we need too high capacity here, because it's only for manual use and not for like real production, if you get what I mean. Yep, this first guy here is gonna create our gears, and it's gonna have one fast inserter and one fast boy taking it out again. Like so, we're gonna have one more fast boy putting stuff in, and we're gonna have one more crafting here. And this guy is gonna create our transportation belts. So now it gets all the resources it needs. And bam, we are now crafting transportation belts. Completely automated, which is pretty neat. We need to split it off somehow. So we do one fast insulter, like so. It's gonna go on a little thingy here. I think like so. I'm sorry if I'm not talking too much or saying anything anything interesting. We're just splitting off the belts here so that we can have belts go in a chest. And we can have some belts go for the crafting of underground belts. And they need transportation belts and iron plates. So that's what we got here exactly. Uh, let's put one of those here. Put one of those here. And we do pretty much the same style as we do here. Hmm... Let's put one of those here. Oh, we're finished researching already. That was very quick. Uh, let's do underground belt. Uh, let's give him some power. And I don't think we need underground belts for anything at all right now. So maybe we can do the same style here anyways. Uh, let's put one of those here. I think maybe you need underground belts to craft the... Uh, where where is it logistics? Uh, yeah, you need them. Okay, to completely fine Okay, so now we have two important items coming out here some belts that we can just pick up to build with straight away Some underground belts right here We can also pick up And I want to leave a little space like that. I want to take two insultals like that. I want to take two iron chests and bam bam and give them power. There we go. Now we can limit that off a little bit so we don't take all the resources here. So we are creating those, we're creating that and we need now to create the splitters which need transportation belts. So we're gonna have to split our transportation belts one more time here. Let's redo do this here so we can split it up properly then. And this bad boy is gonna go right here. This one is gonna go right here. And this one is gonna go over here. And down. And it's gonna be combined with iron, I think. Five iron for... Yep, that is looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna use that as a main belt, I think. Let's do some more splitters for us. And bam, looking perfect. Now we need to grab some green electronics here. Oh, damn. Gotta take some more belts from here. Very nice. And now we need the assembling machine version 2. So that we can craft more complicated items. Basically, items with more ingredients. Up to five, up to four. Goddamn, up to four ingredients. Let's take one of these. Like so. And let's do... Do we need a fast insulter? Maybe, maybe not. Well, let's just do it. And we need a long boy right there. And some power poles, which we don't have. So let's create some of those. And then we will pull these down right here, I think. Just the same way as we do with the others. So just like that, we do splitter right down. We pull it over here. Like so. And let's put some chests here um, that we don't have. But now we do. It's not filling up quick enough to have a fast insulter on the other side, so we might as well save the power by going with a regular one. Okay, so now we got some pretty neat items coming along here. And we gotta start thinking about our insultals, which just need iron gear. Uh, iron plate and electronic circuits and this one here is pretty much the same thing but just with an added insulter instead of the iron gear 
And uh, we've got all of that here. So we got iron here and electronic circuits right here. So I'm just gonna take um, some assembling machines, the blue ones, a normal one to make the gears. Put a blue one right here, a blue one right there. Put it into making gears. And of course, now we can create our items. There we go. And we're gonna put a blue one right there and a red one right here to take the green electronic circuits. And ba-bam, ba-bam. Gonna start, don't need that. Wait, we do need that, my bad. Like so, and then we can do, I think we do a regular one. No, no, we're gonna do this in a little bit of a different way here. So we can split up 50-50. Uh, that's what we want to do here. So when we pull the item out, just like so. God damn, that's looking so messy. Can you do that in a different way maybe? Can you put, put a splitter here straight away? Maybe. I will try it. Well, someday it's gonna be the first day. So let's just, let's just do it. Put down some chests and they are already powered. And we can actually put the power poles on this side here. Uh, one right here. And one right here, remove that one, remove that one, and it's gonna look a little bit more clean. And they don't have power here, so we gotta power those bad boys up. And here we're gonna do regular insodals. And of course they have all items going here now. And they don't seem to be splitting. God damn it. I guess maybe you need a splitter to be out here instead. Eh, I guess that's fine. The other way that we did before would probably have been a little bit better. But uh, hey, I guess this is totally fine. And as you can see, we're creating so many splitters now. We will not have to need to manually create anymore. And of course, we need iron plates and electronic circuits here as well. Maybe we can actually do regular ones here, since the other items are pretty slow. Yeah, I think we can do regular ones. No need to uh, use um, unnecessary amount of power. There we go. Let's power it all up. Bam, bam. Change it to fast insodals and there we go. Got fast insodals going. I don't know how much time they take to craft. Not a lot of time. So that is very nice. And of course, I'm not speeding this up here with uh, faster insodals and all that, because I don't think we really need it since we got splitters going for us. Damn, as you can see here now, we got belts, we got underground belts, splitters, insodals, and fast insodals. Which is just really nice to have here in the beginning. So let's do a quick save. Come pretty far today. Red potions, green circuits, and just crafting all the items automatically that we need to expand our factory. This here is probably also ready for the improved uh, logistics here with faster belts and all that, because we're picking the items and splitting them up already, which is very nice. So hopefully you have enjoyed this. A little bit different type of video, a little bit more sit back, relax, and watch some Factorio gameplay and building a complete base. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, a big thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. Stop.